Hey guys, what is going on? It is Daboki here once again, and it's time for another Maple Story video. I'm here on Debofro. He is my battle mage, and I actually wanted to go ahead and get another revamp impressions video out for you guys. I just signed on, and I, you know, I was thinking, you know, re resistance classes got revamped recently, and I want to go ahead and just check out my battle mage. I made him a long time ago, so we're gonna go ahead and just check him out. And you know, I haven't really played him too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and just point out some noticeable things. Uh, the first thing, of course, you probably notice is a cute little adorable thing that is following me which is a so adorable his eyes just get glowy and I'm just so in love with this little guy uh, but he is super cool I'll go ahead and show you guys what he's all about so you're hitting monsters with your your main attack here and every tenth monster or so he just comes out and wreaks havoc and vengeance on a whole bunch of monsters and it is just super cool so it really really changes up your uh, your training style there because he just comes out and just hits things I wasn't sure if that was something that was implemented before but I just thought it was pretty awesome that that thing is coming out and he just makes cute little faces but then the tenth monster he's like blah, blah, blah. He just, yeah that's exactly the noises he makes so <laughs> um battle mages there are some noticeable changes as well um the auras are not able to stack anymore which of course is a concern for a lot of people but it is kind of cool because it changes up your playing style a little bit there are some pretty cool auras there's of course the dark aura which increases the the, your just magic attack, your damage in general. Um, there is the draining aura, which gives you and your party members the ability to suck HP from monsters as you are hitting them. There's haste aura, and there's defense aura. So, I mean, there's different techniques that you can do. I mean, you can't put them all together like you used to can, but it kind of makes you be more tactical, I think, and be a little bit more strategic in your play style. So, I think it's kind of like a love-hate there in that part. Um, something else also, there's this cool little teleport skill that is called Dark Chain or something like that. It's a Dark Shock and it pretty much, you're from your start to your finish when you teleport, you can get a little trail of lightning there just to show how hot you are and uh, shock some enemies so it can really change up your training style as well. Makes it more smoother, doing some more DPS here and there as your little adorable fluffy guy comes out and attacks things and I mean just, you, you, it kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility on how you want to train I guess. So that's kind of cool as well and of course both skills, the dark chain and the little fluffy man, you can turn them off so you can make him disappear just if you don't want him to keep coming out like that and that's kind of cool as well. Um, there is this skill called Battle Rage. It's a focus on a single short or <laughs> focus on a single enemy for a short time. So it's, this is like a bossing skill right here. You want to turn this on when you're just focusing on one enemy. Um, you, you pop this thing on and you only hit one at a time but you do I guess significantly more damage so definitely a bossing skill so that's kind of cool that they kind of implemented that. Um, we do have a map clearing skill which is this guy right here. He just comes to town and he just shows his boss which is really cool. Of course the cooldown is kind of long but I mean it's pretty epic so <laughs> it's pretty fun to just cast here and there. For mobility wise I'm pretty impressed with the battle mage. Um, I'm not sure if this was changed with this revamp, recent changes, but the teleport skill has been totally revamped and is very impressive, actually. So you can actually jump and teleport now at the same time, which uh, before you can only teleport from the ground, but now you can just anywhere in the air middle jumping you can just teleport which is really cool I think it's pretty awesome so that's really sweet gives mages a lot more mobility and a lot more flexibility on how they want to train around the maps and just kind of just fluid fluidness that's the, what the battle mage is all about I feel like so it's pretty cool um, other than that you know we got a lot more passives for battle mages just not too much active flashy skills that have been changed I don't think um, but you know it's, it's kind of cool I like this quad blow this, this main attack here, it feels really nice and smooth as I'm just beating on these poor little beetles. <laughs> My Wild Hunter revamp video, I was here as well beating on these poor things, so I'm, I'm feel kind of bad. I bet my mechanic revamp video I'll be here as well. <laughs> I'm sorry there's not really much of a scenery change, but um, you know, it's pretty cool. I I'm really enjoying it, this, this battle mage fluidness. I it's just fluid. It's like water. That's how I feel like battle mages are, and it's really cool. Um, yeah, it is a little bit of a bummer, of course, for the aura not being able to be stacked, but I think it just, of course, widens your horizons on how you want to play this guy, because he can be pretty awesomely played. A lot of different styles, tank, support, damage, DPS, so it's, I guess whatever your team needs, 
Loki can actually dish out for you. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a little short revamp battle mage video with the bro fro and little cute fluffy guy. I'm talking to you, little adorableness. Yeah, you on my shoulder. <laughs> I want to say thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the bogey, and like always, we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.